Today we're gonna to install windows in an ICF wall. We like to keep it fairly simple. A couple things I wanna show you quick. Here's what it is after it's all installed. The most important thing is just making sure that you never seal the bottom flange of the window so that if water ever does get inside, it can always run out of this space here. Then as you can see, we've, we have, we like to put peel and stick on top of building paper. We'll sh and we'll show you how to prep all this. We do a butterfly stitch, we come up around the corner, then we do the sides, and this peel and stick gets put on after the window's installed. So we'll, let's show you how we did that. We have some trades working in the background. So there might be a little bit of noise. And that's why we put up the plywood here just to kind of prevent that. First thing, I just take my building paper, cut it into a 12 inch roll. I like shorter pieces anyway, and it works perfect for the windows. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a three inch mark here. And I'm gonna go over nine inches. I wanna come over nine. Three inches. Nope. 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 Three inches. Nine. Today we're going to use a 9 inch roll of the 3M peel and stick. This stuff's awesome, super stretchy, you can bend it around corners. Here's really well and uh, it's, it's thin but don't let the, the thinness fool you. Thinness is probably not technically a word, sorry about all you little sticklers out there, freaking turds. Let's put this on, watch me struggle. What I like about the 3M tape as well is that they have it perforated so you can if you want to tuck underneath later, you can peel and stick it to the wall and then just when you do your siding, run your paper up underneath that later. But I don't like doing it that way. Jesus, shit's sticky. So that went pretty good considering I don't do this every day like the boys on the crew. Like the Swiss Carpenter bot, we'll try to get a shot of him, the elusive Michael. I like to staple this down really well so that later when you go to spray foam, the guys don't try to spray foam underneath that. They're actually going between this and the window itself. One thing I, I forgot to mention as well, for an ICF window buck, I prefer just using a wood window buck. These are actually an inch and a quarter OSB rim board. And we just use the two bottom treated two by fours and then just a, the rim ply all the way around. The reason we do that, A, I know that technically it's gonna transfer cold. It is a thermal bridge, so it's not perfect. But the way I look at it is your window is going to lose heat regardless. It's a, it's R 8.3 at best. That's a triple or a three ply window or a triple pane. But what it's nice about it is it's relatively cheap. It, it's, I know you could do better. Like you could do a foam buck with plastic inlays and stuff like that. But you just, what I like is you just get positive connection for your window on the outside positive connection on the inside for drywall and trim and everything like that and it's strong and simple to do so and no matter what you have to 
treat it and detail your window regardless so you have a positive watershed. Right, so you always got to keep water to the outside. So after we fold that in, tack it down, the next step is this butterfly stitch. No matter what you do, you always want to protect this corner, and that's how we do it with one of these. Now with the 3M tape, because it is so stretchable, let's try this out. Oh boy. Malleable, eh? See, we're gonna go like that. I'm like a kid in kindergarten trying to get his tape unstuck. Elbow. So I have a six by six piece peeling stick. I'm just gonna cut this bottom corner out. About like so. The reason I cut out that bottom corner is because my inside corner is already protected with the butterfly stitch. So I'm just gonna quickly do the other side here. After that, we're gonna do our side pieces of building paper. We're, we're just gonna go three inches up. Because we have the 12 inch roll, we want it three inches on the inside of the, of the box. So we're gonna go nine inches. Remember to staple this edge really well, just for spray foam for future. Ready for the window to go in. Next step you want to do is just check the actual OSM or the outside dimensions of your window compared to your rough opening. And then just set the blocks down appropriately. So if you got three eighths or half inch blocks, you just set those down, tack them with a shingle nail, and then just pop the window in. And then we'll shingle nail the, the window off. Um, but what I like about having this, I protect my, my window buck. I have protection here. And then after the window is in, we'll peel and stick. But I always, I just have that paper I have it multi-layered, I have it watershed so that water can always just run off and it's done in proper layers. Already? Yeah. If you choke it right down there, that's the best, most powerful way. The carpenter bot will now make sure that the window opens properly. Looks good to me. Windows fully in, fully nailed. It opens properly, it's level. The shim spacing is dead on. This window actually came with the three inch or the three eighths block, so that's perfect. Now, 
I'm gonna do the peel and stick up the sides. I'm just, luckily, I like the Nova Flash. I ran out of the 3M for the sides and I wanna make sure I have 3M for the top. So I'm just gonna peel and stick the sides. But what I like about this setup, like I said, is now I have paper in behind my flange. And then when I peel and stick to the flange, I don't get water trying to chase its way backwards, right? If I just papered up to here, a lot of guys will just paper and do uh, tuck tape. Well, the tuck tapes won't stick forever and then water can just trickle in behind and then it'll wreck your buck. So I have, I have protection behind the flange, watershed. Sound like a broken record already. So we'll just do the sides. I gave the flange a wipe just to make sure it was nice and clean. So I'm keeping with the watershed effect. I did my sides. Now I'll peel and stick the top. I want to rasp the foam first so I get good adhesion. I have other videos as well. When I, when I talk about window install and window prep and the detail involved, the whole point of this is you still need building paper above all of this. You need to building paper your whole ICF structure because it doesn't matter if you peel and stick this with the best product in the universe, you use your drip cap and all that. And if you don't put building paper above it and watershed and protect the building, water will get in behind your peel and stick and then it'll just leach through here leach into your flange and everything. So don't overlook that. Just because it's ICF doesn't mean you, that you don't need building paper, because you surely do. I saved the 3M tape for last. I don't like mixing products, but like I said, I'm happy with the Nova Flash and super happy with the 3M, but it's, it, adhe it adheres better to the foam. So we did that. Basically we're done for now. We'll let the siders take over. They'll do a drip cap. And if it was me, I'd do another peel and stick on top of that. But the reason I like this obviously is the best protection. But when you do a drip cap with an end dam, if you didn't have your peel and stick, water could get in from behind the drip cap. So now this I think is the ultimate way to detail your window. Like I said, I treat this window install the same as I would on a wood frame building. Doesn't matter that it's ICF, treat it all the same and uh, you'll be good to go.